When you look online, there are so many people out there that are trying to help you and teach you grow your business by getting more cl clients, by getting more revenue, by increasing your Facebook ads, by you know all these kind of strategies and all these things, they're amazing and they're super helpful. In fact, I do that as well, right? It's all amazing, but there's one particular strategy that has been the biggest impact on our profits by far. And it's so boring that nobody wants to talk about it. My name is Wilker de Cry, and it's actually like something that I've been implementing in, in our business from the very start, right when I was just, it was just me, all the way to where we are right now, where like I've got a team of 25 people all over the world um, growing our business. And we still have this in our business, and it's still helping us get a lot more profit. Because like I said, when you look online, there's so many people out there um, that are you know, trying to get you to that next level. And because of that, a lot of people, they just sort of get off on revenue. They're like, oh, that's amazing, right? I got, uh, I've got X amount of revenue, or I've got X amount of sales, but does that really matter? Like, besides the point that I don't think money is that important on itself, but even if you do think that's important, then does revenue even matter? I mean, there's companies out there that make a lot of revenue and they lose money every month, every day, every week. So at the end of the day, as an entrepreneur, as a business, you wanna make a profit, right? And I think one of the most important lessons I learned from this is actually from my dad when I was like super little and he made, uh, in a way he made a mistake, but at the same time it was probably one of the best things he ever did, right? Because uh, we were quite young. When I say we, it was me and my sisters. Um, and my dad at some point said, you know what? Whatever money you are gonna save this year, right? It was at the beginning of the year. Whatever money you put together, like we'll, we'll look at your, your bank account today. We'll look at it at, in a year from now. Whatever you have saved up, I will double, right? And that to me was like, wow, because I was like, I was super young. I don't know the exact age, but I was at an age where like, when I got like, I don't know, maybe a Euro uh, for like, um, back then it was not a Euro, it was gulden. We had something different here in the Netherlands, but whatever, dollar, Euro, it doesn't really matter. Whenever I got that, I would buy something like a game or whatever, right? And this suddenly changed, changed everything because now I was like, I had the incentive to save up money. I had the incentive not to spend the money, but to keep it. Now, the, the mistake my dad made is that he did not take into account that my oldest sister just got 16, so she was at the age where she, she was allowed to start working. And with this incentive, she was like, hold on, I'm going all in. So she, like, she spent all of her free time working as much as was legally allowed uh, and saved up everything. So at the end of the year, my dad had to double quite a bit, uh, which obviously he did. But that one year taught me a, a crazy important lesson because it doesn't matter what stage you are at, but you always wanna make sure that your costs are low, right? So it's not just about getting revenue and right, spending it all into like growing or the next big thing. Like let's say me or someone else, they launch a new product and and you're like, oh, I, like, I need to have this. It's so amazing, right? A lot of people, they just buy an emotion and just spend money. And oh, this, this new guy, he, bought, he, he has a new course. I need to get it. Oh, and now this guru, he has some kind of high-end coaching. I need to get it. Um, and the fact is, you don't. You really don't. And I know this, this may be strange from someone who's selling products online, right? But for those who've reached out to me private one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes I get an email saying something like, hey, you know, money is really tight. Um, you know, can you please hold off? Like sometimes we have a special offer. It's only available for a few days. Can you please hold off until like next week? Because then I get my salary payment in and, and then I can just make it work. And I always tell them like, if this is the last money you're going to spend, don't spend it. Seriously, like whatever you do, like, like you have to think through what is really necessary. And sometimes we think things are necessary, but it's not really necessary. Like if you were running an online business, for example, um, a domain name, yes, it is necessary. You're hosting, yes, it is necessary. Or like a landing page tool, sure, it's necessary. But the latest course, oftentimes it's not. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't buy it. I'm saying that you always wanna optimize for 
profits, right? So if you, let's say in a certain period, you make $10,000, you don't want to spend $8,000 on random stuff, right? You want to keep that at a minimum, right? So for a long time in my online career, I never spent anything on courses. Now, is that, was that the smartest move? We can debate on that. I'm not sure. Like sometimes I would have grown faster if I would have bought a course. Like the times where I actually hired a coach has been the times where, I, where my business has grown the fastest. So there's definitely a good case for that. But even so, like that it has to be in balance. So whenever you buy something online or planning to buy something, ask yourself, do I really need it, right? Because the most effective way to, to, to just simply increase your profits is to simply spend less, right? Every dollar you don't spend is a dollar extra profit. So whenever you're trying to buy something next time, right? And yes, I may be throwing in my own glasses because perhaps you were at the fence on buying uh, one of our products. Like we've got a viral, we've got Connect.io and these tools, they help, right? They, they, viral helps you get a lot more free traffic and Connect.io helps you to get your Facebook ads to be a lot more effective. But sometimes people just buy the product and because of a hype, and they're like, oh, I need to have it, but they don't really start using it, right? So if you buy something, ask yourself, like, do I really need it? And if you do, then do two things, because a lot of people do just one of the two. Buy it, right? Use it. You'd be amazed how many people, they just think about it and they're like, oh, they'll just buy it on an emotion and they don't use it. Well, either you don't buy it, right? And that means you maximize your profit and you, you, know, you don't spend the money, or, <laughs> you buy it and you use it because why else? Because if you buy it and you don't use it, you've literally wasted money and you're lowering your profits for no reason whatsoever. And I know if you're watching this, I know that you are guilty of this. I know you've purchased something that you've never even looked at or never really execute on. And I totally get that. I've been at that place as well. And we're not perfect. We're all just trying and you know moving forward, right? But while doing that, make sure to always ask yourself like what can i do to lower my cost look at your current payments like everything that's recurring do i really need it uh because every, like i said like i said every dollar saved is a dollar earned and that is the most boring strategy no one wants to talk about because yes people may be like oh, you're right i'm not gonna buy your product and that's true but at the end of the day i really want to help you and the way you're gonna get more profit is to really look at your billing like what cost can we reduce and that immediately increases profits without any flashy strategy whatsoever so uh, again it's welcome to cry here with all of you i hope this helped and of course if you want to check out more of us of our products go to upviral.com and connectio.io and i'll talk to you next time